So, welcome again uh, in my course power electronics application in power system. In the last class, I discuss uh, midpoint compensation of a long symmetrical lossless transmission line, right? And I, I uh, started uh, uh, solving a numerical problem, and uh, this numerical problem also I will continue in, in this particular lecture. So, let us uh, have a quick uh, recapitulation what we did in the last lecture. So, we uh, discuss what is midpoint compensation and we also come out with the expression of this amount of compensation required at the midpoint to hold a given value of this midpoint voltage constant. This is the amount of compensation required in order to maintain the midpoint voltage at this VMC line to line. So, this is what I discussed in the last class and then I started this numerical problem. If you look at this numerical problem, then you will see it is a problem of a symmetrical lossless long transmission line with this following parameters. These parameters are of uh, this line uh, inductance, line capacitance, line length, this uh, nominal voltage level, frequency etcetera. And we have been asked to design a compensator to hold the midpoint voltage V uh, to 1.05 per unit. So, here whatever I was talking about this V m c line to line. So, this one is basically this 1.05, 1.05 per unit considering that the line to line base voltage is 735 kV. Then what we did? We first determine this surge impedance, then surge impedance loading which is coming out to be 1954 megawatt and we also determine the midpoint voltage uh, Vm when uh, there is at no load. So, which is uh, cos beta L by 2 that is 1 upon cos 29 degree around 1 upon uh, cos 29 degree which is coming out to be 1.14 per unit. Now, this gives the information that there is a around 14 percent over voltage, around 14 percent over voltage at the midpoint, at the midpoint of the line at no load condition. Okay. And this, this is not acceptable actually. So, this 14 percent over voltage at the midpoint of a transmission line is, is a huge amount in terms of this scale kilo volt. So, this is not acceptable. So, what is to be done is to mitigate this over voltage and in order to mitigate this over voltage and in order to uh, this make the midpoint voltage constant irrespective of the loading. The, uh, and that midpoint voltage we are keeping constant at 1.05 per unit that is uh, 1.05 times of 735 kV. So, what we did? We did design a compensator okay? and this is what the compensator range or rating that we developed. And if you look at this rating, this, this compensator rating is of course, function of this delta. It means that it will vary according to this value of the delta. And as you know, this angle delta is the uh, angle between the voltages of sending end to receiving end and this is what the angular difference of the voltage phasors of the sending end to receiving end. And when we have so, uh, this, this delta uh, will vary according to the loading or according to the load connected at the receiving end side. So, when uh, this load changes, this amount of compensation required to uh, keep the midpoint voltage constant to 1.05 per unit is also varying. Okay? And what we come up with this that the range, the two extreme range of the compensator, one is corresponds to delta is equal to 0, another corresponds to delta is equal to 90 degree. So, uh, these ranges are very wide, one is minus 696 MVR, another is 7742 uh, 42.97 MVR. So, this is a quite wide range and no practical compensators 
with reasonable cost can provide such a wide range of compensation. So, it, it needs a excessively high rated compensators and uh, which will incur with excessive high cost of investment. Right? Now, in this uh, lecture what we will do is that we will try to restrict this range in a reasonably practical limit okay? and then we will try to understand that under that conditions what would be the midpoint voltage under varying loading condition. Okay? So, the goal is goal of this today's lecture is let us keep the size of the compensator to a reasonably practical range. that is minus 600 MVAR to plus 400 MVAR. So, our intention is to keep the size of the compensator to a reasonable range, so that the compensator would not be excessive costlier. Okay. And then we will see what would be the midpoint voltage condition. So, at for this compensator, for this compensator, let us examine the condition or midpoint voltage condition. And also the power flow. Through the line. Okay. So, this is what we will learn today. So, if we keep the rating of the midpoint compensator to a reasonably uh, practical range which is considered to be minus 600 MVR to 400 MVR, then what would be its impact uh, on this midpoint voltage conditions and also the power flow of the line. Okay. Now, we already determined the expression of this uh, midpoint voltage, uh, this, this uh, uh, we also determine the expression for midpoint compensator rating which is this uh, and from this expression if we put this to extreme MVR limit then we will come up with some value of delta. So, that means suppose when this compensator Q C compensator rating is minus 600 MVAR, then what we can write is for this equation let me copy in this slide that is Q C is equal to 7742.97. Seven seven four two point nine seven. Then minus eight four three nine point five seven cos delta y two. Minus eight four three nine point five seven cos delta y two. That is what the uh, rating requirement of the compensator that we derive to hold to hold. Midpoint voltage uh, 
voltage equal to 1.05 per unit irrespective of loading. Now, when uh, Q c is equal to minus 600, so we, we can write this is minus 600 is equal to 7742.97 minus 8439.57 cos delta by 2. If you solve this equ equation, you will get a value of delta. So, this delta we obtained as 17.35 degree. Okay. So, that means the when the compensator rating is uh, minus 600 MVR, the, the, the corresponding loading of this, this according to this uh, compensator compensation equation will come up with a value of delta is equal to 17.35 degree. Similarly, when Q c is equal to plus 400 MVR, then we will also put this uh, 400 in this particular equation. So, we can write 400 is equal to 7742.97 minus 8439.57 cos delta by 2. So, if you solve this, then we will come up with a value of delta is equal to 59.06 degree. This is according to my calculation. I hope this calculation is correct. Okay. Now, we will get a value of delta corresponding to q c is equal to minus 600. We also get a value of delta corresponding to q c is equal to plus 400. So, within these two uh, values of the delta, it is assumed that the compensator can provide any any compensation required. Okay. Now, uh, as I said this delta is the load angle, delta is the angular difference of the voltage uh, between the sending end voltage and the receiving end voltage and it is because of the angular difference the power flows. So, power flow is basically uh, controlled or changed by this, this variation of the delta. So, uh, this delta uh, that is why we call this delta as a load angle. So, according to the loading at the receiving end or according to the change of the load, this value of delta will get change. Now, the theoretical limit of this delta is 90 degree. So, let us consider that this is the variation of the delta according to the load and this is delta is equal to 0 and this is delta is equal to 90 degree or pi by 2 the which is the theoretical stability limit. Now, with this compensator design what we get that this uh, from this delta is equal to 17.35 degree till delta is equal to 59.06 degree with this uh, range of this compensator that is q c is equal to uh, minus 600 to 400 MVR, 400 MVR will capable enough to hold the midpoint voltage V m constant at 1.05 per unit. Okay. So, whatever compensation is required uh, for this variation of the delta starting from delta is equal to 17.35 to delta is equal to 59.06. That means, during this pre, uh, uh, amount of loading which corresponds to delta 17.35 uh, degree to delta 59 degree, the compensator can comfortably provide whatever compensation required to hold the midpoint voltage constant at 1.05 per unit. Okay. Now, what will happen when this uh, delta will vary from this 0 to uh, 17.35 and delta will vary from 59 degree to 90 degree. So, what will happen is 
during this period of time during this period of time this this compensator will cannot give the guarantee that it will be able to hold the midpoint voltage to 1.05 uh, unit uh, 0.5 per unit but it will act as a fixed reactor and thereby it will mitigate uh, this this uh, over voltage to some extent because you know that uh, when delta is equal to 0 corresponding to this value of delta this midpoint voltage is 1.14 per unit which is uh, around 14 percent higher than the nominal voltage. And uh, since this the, within this uh, values of this delta starting from delta is equal to 0 to delta is equal to 17.35 this uh, compensator will act as a fixed reactor it will mitigate definitely some amount of over voltage, but it cannot ensure that uh, that midpoint voltage would be remain constant to a desired value. In this problem this value we consider to be 1.05 per unit. Okay. Now, during this uh, period of time when uh, delta varies from uh, 59.06 degree to 90 degree this this compensator will act as a fixed capacitor thereby it will when we have a fixed capacitor at the midpoint it will definitely mitigate some sort of under voltage but it cannot uh, guarantee that the midpoint voltage will always be remain constant to the desired value in this problem we consider that desired value is 1.05 per unit. Now, the question is if it is so then we need we will be curious to know that what would be the midpoint voltage condition during this period of time when the uh, your compensator will act as a fixed uh, capacitor as well as when the compensator will act as a fixed reactor. So, you will be curious to know what will be the midpoint voltage condition as well as what will be the compensated power during this uh, fixed reactor uh, range that also we will be interested to know. So, this is what we will be determining in this uh, this will be the midpoint power or the active power flow through the line because as you know that uh, it is a we assume that the line is lossless. So, whatever amount of power is flowing through the midpoint the same amount will flow through the other part of the line also. So, now if we summarize uh, what what we have learned so far. So, we, what we can write is uh, when delta is equal to delta will be in between 0 to 17.35 degree this compensator will act as a fixed reactor or fixed inductor mode. When delta or I should not use a hard deadline, uh, when delta will vary in between 17.35 to 59.06 the compensator compensator will can provide required compensation to hold to to keep midpoint voltage constant that is 1.05 per unit per unit okay. and when delta will vary in between this 90 degree to this 59.06 degree then it will act as a fixed capacitor mode. Okay. So, 
on this uh, mode of operation fixed capacitor and fixed reactor the compensator cannot guarantee to hold the midpoint voltage to 1.05 per unit ok so i repeat the, my this statement once again so uh, when the compensator is operating at fixed reactor and the fixed capacitor mode uh, the compensator cannot guarantee that to hold the midpoint uh, voltage constant ok because they will have some limited amount of compensation and they cannot provide the required amount of compensation to uh, maintain the midpoint voltage constant. So, if we understand then, then we will also determine that what would be the expressions for midpoint voltage under this two mode of operation. Okay? So, now let us uh, find out that what would be the uh, voltage conditions when the uh, compensator is operating at a fixed reactor mode. Okay. Fixed reactor mode of operation. So, as we have seen that uh, at this particular uh, condition that uh, this, this compensator will provide a fixed compensation of Q c is equal to minus 600 ampere irrespective of the loading. So, at this condition this Q c will be equal to minus 600 ampere irrespective of the loading. So, at this particular uh, condition uh, we can find out the uh, reactance of the re fixed reactor. Okay. So, what we uh, consider here is that to find out, so we will find out the reactance of the fixed reactor. at this particular condition. So, in order to find out that, so let us uh, find out what would be the expression of this, uh, this minus 600 would be equal to the voltage square divided by the reactance. So, that is uh, basically, if we just uh, ignore the sign for this time being, because we understand that uh, inductive type of compensation is opposite to capacitive type of compensation. So, it is negative, we will consider it later on, but in order to find out the value of the reactance, let us ignore this uh, sign and then what we can write it that this is equal to 1.05 times of this 735 kV voltage line to line divided by this XL. As we know, uh, this uh, uh, line to line voltage square divided by this uh, reactance value is uh, equal to the amount of compensation uh, the fixed compensator can provide. Okay. So, from this we can find out the value of x l is equal to 1.05 multiplied by 735 square divided by 600 which is coming out to be as per my calculation 9 92.66 ohm. Okay. So, that is what the uh, reactance of the fixed reactor we, we obtain okay, from this uh, given value of the Q c. Now, what we will do is uh, we know that uh, since this cap uh, compensation is fixed, now if the load is varying, it will not be able to maintain a fixed voltage, rather the voltage uh, would be varying in nature. Now, how what would be the that voltage? This we will uh, identify. Now, uh, when uh, this is the fixed compensation, so what, what we can write is that the amount of compensation, the amount of compensation
the compensator compensator can now provide provide is this is equal to 2 multiplied by this vm uh, vm uh, c line to line of course square cos beta l by 2 minus this is v line to line v m c line to line cos delta by 2 divided by z c sin beta l by 2 this is the expression that we, we obtain uh, uh, to determine the compensator rating and this is the ex same expression we have also, also used to determine the compensator rating that is this, this equation I am talking about. Then I will equate this equation with the voltages, voltage condition that is uh, uh, minus Vmc line to line square divided by this xl that is this ok so i can find it out so this uh, 1.05 we considering that uh, this qc is providing minus 600 ampere and beyond that it will not be able to maintain this 1.05 per unit voltage at the midpoint so the voltage will get change and this vmc uh, itself will get change and we are interested to find out the expression of vmc here now if you look at this expression, so here you can see this uh, from this particular equation, if you equate right hand side and left hand side, so one Vmc, this Vmc and this one Vmc will be cancelled out. Okay? And then we will come up with a Vmc expression now is Vmc line to line is equal to V cosine delta by 2. So, this is simply I, I, I uh, just multiply this Zc sin beta L by 2 here and bring it to the left hand side denominator, uh, numerator. So, then what we can write is that V cos delta by 2 multiplied by if you multiply this z c sin beta l there in the both side, then what we will get is uh, cos beta l by 2 plus z c 2 x l sin beta l by 2. So, this is the expression that we get. So, the here v is line to line voltage. Okay. So, this is what the expression we get. Now, you, you know that here uh, this, this uh, cos beta L by 2 is known to us, Zc is also known to us, Xl already we determined the value of the Xl and uh, sin beta L 2 is known to us. So, what we can find it out here from this particular expression, uh, this if we consider uh, this, this is V line to line, then this multiplied by 1.062 cosine delta by 2. Okay. So, therefore, we can write that V m c line to line for this case is 1.062 cos delta per unit because we consider that this V line to line is our base voltage. So, that is what the voltage condition now at the midpoint when the compensator works as a fixed reactor mode. Okay. Now, of course, uh, if you look at this, this particular uh, compensated voltage now, uh, then you can see at delta is equal to 2, uh, at delta is equal to 0, that means delta is equal to 0 corresponds to the condition that the uh, system is working at no load condition. Then the midpoint voltage Vmc line to line is equal to 1.062 per unit. It means that uh, there is some amount of over voltage, 
but which is much lower than the uh, this 14 percent of over voltage if we do not provide any compensator which we uh, obtained in here in this particular time that there will be 14 percent over voltage at the midpoint at the no load when there is no compensator at this condition we assume that there is no midpoint compensator is there. Now, if you look at the, when we design this midpoint compensator rating to uh, maintain the midpoint voltage at always uh, this, this uh, uh, 1.05 per unit during that required amount of compensation required was minus 696 MVR. Now, if we keep the operating this midpoint at uh, 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 this uh, at a fixed reactor mode, then uh, we have uh, come out with the expression of midpoint voltage is 1.062 per unit. That means, there is 6.2 percent over voltage percent of over voltage is there, but that is less that is significantly less as compared to 14 percent of over voltage. So, almost uh, 50 percent reduction in over voltage is possible even if you operate the uh, compensator in a fixed compensation mode or fixed reactor mode. So, that is what we obtain from here. Now, from this also we can find out this expression for active power which is flowing through the line. If you put this values, uh, this VMC is in this value, then we know that this expression is V line to line, then VMC line to line divided by Zc sin beta L by 2 multiplied by sin delta by 2. Now, if you put uh, this Vmc value over here, Vll is 1 per unit. So, if you multiply this base values as well, then you convert it to uh, a mag megawatt, then whatever the value will get that is coming out to be 2134 sin delta that much of megawatt because you know there is a cos delta over here and that cos delta and sin delta is multiplied and we consider the 2 sin delta cos delta is equal to sin delta and then you put all these values V L L V L L to L is here considered as 735 kV and uh, V M C is uh, of course, line to line is 1.062 multiplied by 735 kV multiplied by cos delta by 2 and Z C sin beta L by 2 already we know these values already we obtained at the very beginning of previous lecture. So, if you put all these values, you will come up with this expression of power. Okay. So, we obtain this now, we obtain this now, both of this one is uh, Vm is 1.062 per unit and Pm is obtained as 2134 sin delta. Okay. So, this is ob, uh, obtained for it is uh, uh, for the reactor operation at fixed uh, mode or for the compensator operate operation at fixed reactor mode. Now, let us find out when the compensator is operated at fixed capacitor mode what will be the vm midpoint voltage compensated at this particular condition so in order to find that we will also uh, use the same approach that we let us first find out, uh, let us first find out, find out the fixed capacitor reactance, which is 
represented by x c. Okay. So, this we will obtain similar to what uh, similar to the approach we used before in case of fixed uh, reactor operation. So, in order to find out uh, we know that uh, in this particular mode q c is providing a fixed uh, compensation of 400 m v a r. So, we know q c is equal to 400 m v a r uh, is equal to 1.05 multiplied by 735 kb, kb square is basically nullifying this m v a r. You have to understand that 400 m v a r means there is 10 to the power 6 uh, mul to be multiplied with 400. Similarly, 735 kb means there is 10 to the power 3 to be multiplied with this. Now, 10 to the power 3 square uh, would be 10 to the power 6 that will be eventually cancelled with this uh, m v a r that is 10 to the power 6 in the left hand side. So, this divided by x c. Now, if you do that then x c is found out to be 1489 ohm. Okay. So, you just put uh, this x c to left hand side and bring 400 to the denominator of the right hand side and solve it and you will get x is equal to that. Now, when we get x is equal to that again we will put this value of x c in order to find out what would be the V m c that is midpoint compensated voltage at this particular condition. Now, to do that so we know that q c is equal to twice V m c line to line square cos beta L by 2 minus V line to line multiplied by V m c line to line cos delta by 2 divided by z c sin beta L by 2 that is what our expression of the compensator is equal to this V m c line to line square divided by this x c. Okay. So, uh, similar to this uh, uh, what we did in the previous part this similar to this instead of x l I just put it to x c uh, and uh, let us start, let's start same. Now, in that way we can find out that V m c line to line is equal to V line to line cosine delta by 2 divided by cos beta L by 2 minus Z C divided by 2 X C sin beta L by 2. Okay. So, this is what the expression we obtain. Now, as we know that uh, we know the values of uh, beta L by 2, we know the values of Z C by 2 X C also. Z C is known to us, X C is already determined to 1489 ohm. We also know the sin beta L by 2 values also. So, if you uh, put all these values, then uh, whatever you will get uh, as the voltage is equal to uh, that is equal to V line to line multiplied by 1.2068 cos delta by 2 that much of uh, kilo volt. Okay. Now, again when we co convert it to uh, per unit then what we will get it as V m c line to line is equal to 1.2068 cos delta by 2 per unit because we consider V line to line is 735 is our reference voltage or base voltage. So, considering uh, this this as a base voltage if you divide it this V m c then whatever the voltage will get that will come out to be a per unit voltage. So, this is what the voltage we determined. Now, similarly we can also determine uh, this this power as well. Uh, this active power flow 
during this fixed uh, capacitor mode of operation of compensator, we can find out the power flow expression for fixed capacitor mode of operation of the compensator compensator is in order to find this out uh, we, we uh, can write p m is equal to this uh, again v m c line to line multiplied by v line to line divided by z c sin beta l by 2 multiplied by sin delta by 2. Now, you know that v m c line to line is this v line to line you multiply with twice because if you want to convert it to uh, per unit to megawatt and then z c sin beta l by 2 known to us. So, if you uh, do all sort of thing then what you will be coming out to be an expression of 2425 sin delta that much of megawatt. In fact, this was also that much of megawatt. Now, we will copy back this uh, again uh, here. So, now what we get this V m here is now uh, this V m c rather uh, this V m c is equal to 1.2068 cos cosine delta cosine delta by 2 per unit and p m is find out to be 2425 2425 sin delta. Okay. Now, this value of v m uh, c is basically corresponding to delta is equal to 0, but actually under this fixed reactor mode of operation the expression of v m c as we obtained as uh, in this next slide here it is basically this this expression I am talking about this is equal to 1.062 cosine delta by 2. So, this is what the expression of v m c now this is what the expression of v m c this is what the expression of v m c when it is operating as fixed capacitor mode and this is what the expression of line flow. So, you can see line flows are also getting change here so as the voltages. Now, what we can do is that uh, we can plot this midpoint voltage. So, let us let us plot the midpoint voltage. with respect to angle delta. So, this is suppose this midpoint voltage and this is suppose angle delta. So, this is midpoint voltage and this is angle delta. So, this is uh, we are intending to plot. So, if we intend to plot this then what we will get? Uh, as we have seen that uh, suppose this corresponds to the this corresponds to uh, this v m midpoint voltage corresponds to this one per unit. Okay. So, without compensation without compensation there was a 14 percent more over voltage and there was a also under voltage. So, corresponding to delta is equal to 0 this v m was 1.14 and then it was uh, declining and it is uh, uh, decreasing like this. When uh, this happens this corresponds to this S i L loading this corresponds to S i L loading 
surge impedance loading when this midpoint voltage will be 1. And this, this is was the expression, uh, this is was the plot of this midpoint voltage uh, for uncompensated line. Okay. Now, if we also try to plot this midpoint voltage for compensated line, we can eventually plot by considering this voltage equations that we get between delta is equal to 0 to uh, delta is equal to 17 degree. This is the equation that we will be using to plot the voltage. And during this uh, period of time that is uh, in between this 17.35 to 59.06 degree, it will remain constant. And during this uh, 59.06 to delta is equal to 90 degree, it will follow this equation. So, accordingly anybody can plot uh, by using any, any software that you can use including the MATLAB. And if you plot that, then what we will get is, suppose this, this angle corresponds to delta is equal to 17.35 degree and this angle corresponds to delta is equal to 59 degree. So, between this period of time starting from this angle to that angle, the midpoint voltage will remain constant and from here to here it will act as a fixed capacitor and fixed reactor mode. So, now, so this, this period of time it is acting as a fixed capacitor mode and this period of time it is acting as a fixed reactor mode and during this period of time it is providing the required compensation to hold the midpoint voltage to 1.05 per unit. So, this if you look compare these characteristics with this, unco with this uncompensated line. So, th this red one characteristic is uh, the, the uh, correct voltage condition for compensated or midpoint compensated line midpoint compensated line and if you compare this red character uh, red curve with this black curve you can you can understand that when the uh, system was operating at light load condition during this period of time there is over voltage uh, still because it is operating at fixed reactor mode but the amount of over voltage is significantly less than the uncompensated line similarly when the uh, this is operating at this this uh, uh, relative to higher loading condition even if you have fixed capacitor mode of compensation there is some kind of under voltage but the degree of under voltage as compared to the uncompensated line is significantly less and that is what the benefit of having a compensator okay and uh, uh, there are various types of this uh, compensator exist which can perform this uh, this this uh, a particular uh, task okay and we will discuss the, them one by one right so if we summarize the whole numerical analysis what we learn today is uh, for uncompensated line there exists significant amount of over voltage and under voltage during low load condition or light load condition during light loading or heavy loading so, during light loading you can see that there is a serious amount of over voltage during heavy loading you can see there is a serious amount of under voltage. But if you use a compensated midpoint compensated line that means we have a practical compensator at the midpoint. So, what it does is it uh, mitigates significant amount of over voltage during this light loading condition and significant amount of under voltage as well during this heavy loading condition. So, that is what the main concept that we understand in this particular lecture and we will continue this uh, in, 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 in next lectures when we will discuss of several types of practical compensators and uh, their uh, types, their modeling aspect and various other things. 
Okay. So, uh, for today uh, this is up to this and thank you very much for joining. Thank you all. Thank you.